For almost eight months, Russia has been daily attacking Ukrainian cities and villages. Tortures, rapes, mockery and murders of Ukrainian civilians, regardless of their gender and age, have become the norm for the Russian army. According to the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, at the beginning of October 2022, there were 15,000 victims among civilians in Ukraine officially known. More than 6,000 were killed and more than 9,000 were wounded. But the real figures are much higher, since UN representatives do not have access to many temporarily occupied settlements. Most of the civilian casualties recorded were caused by the use of explosive weapons with wide area effects, including shelling from heavy artillery, multiple launch rocket systems, missiles and airstrikes, from the official report of the UN Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. Russian propagandists openly call for the destruction of Ukraine, its population and critical infrastructure. On the eve of winter, as a result of massive missile attacks, more than a third of Ukraine's energy infrastructure facilities have been already damaged. All this is yet another confirmation of the war crimes of Putin and his subordinates. The main goals towards which Putin makes his main efforts show that he does not believe in his victory on the battlefields. He wants to make people tired to make them lose the desire to maintain their independence as a people. Jim Costa, Democratic congressman from California, in an interview with Voice of America. Ukraine's European partners are increasingly calling for the creation of a special tribunal to hold the trial of the war criminal Putin. Uh, we must remain united uh, in Europe to support Ukraine, not only to condemn Russia, uh, but uh, to uh, uh, start working towards a uh, tribunal to, to uh, figure out how to properly hold Russia also legally accountable for the atrocities uh, that they are uh, committing uh, in Ukraine today. Prosecutor General Andriy Kostin has discussed with the Director General for Human Rights and the Rule of Law of the Council of Europe the creation of an international mechanism for holding the top leadership of the Russian Federation accountable for the crime of aggression against Ukraine. They spoke about the importance of creating an international mechanism to prosecute the top political and military leadership of the Russian Federation for crimes and aggression against Ukraine. It's important for Ukrainians to to feel, to know and to be sure that Putin and his team will be accountable for what they did. On October the 16th, the foreign ministers of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania issued a joint statement calling on the European Union and its partners to help Ukraine create a special tribunal. We definitely have to discuss the legal response uh, to the uh, crimes of aggression that have been committed uh, and uh, how to make a separate tribunal to prosecute those because war crimes are prosecuted by the ICC and uh, Ukraine but uh, crimes of aggression can only be prosecuted by a separate tribunal and I see that European Union could be uh, the leader in this way. The municipality of The Hague has already begun to look for a suitable place for a military tribunal over Putin. Similar tribunals have already been held against war criminals from Rwanda, Cambodia and the former Yugoslavia. The other day, the creation of a special international tribunal to try the Kremlin leader was supported by the majority of deputies in the lower house of the Dutch parliament. Majority of Dutch parliament in favor of establishing a special tribunal to judge Russia's act of aggression against Ukraine. We can and must bring Putin to justice. Sjord Wimmer Sjordsma, Dutch member of parliament on Twitter. However, the authors of the resolution acknowledge that it will be a long time before Putin and his associates are brought to trial. But no one doubts that this will certainly happen. Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Natalia Husak, UATV News.